Hi, welcome to lesson five. In this lesson, we're going to learn the types of verbs. In the past lessons, we finished learning the pronouns. And in order to understand the conjugations of the verbs, we need to understand the, the pronouns first and then the verbs. Now it's time to understand the verbs. Now, <clears throat> let's start with knowing the types of the verbs. We said before that al kalima al al ka li al kalima divided into three category what does it mean al kalima al kalima means the word so the word in arabic divided into three categories it's either ism ism it's a noun and then fa'l and then harf noun verbs and particles today we're going to learn about the fa'l the verb Basically, the verbs in Arabic divided into th three categories according to the time. I mean, we have verbs happens in the past and verbs happens now and verb will happens will happen in the future. So we say that we have fa'l madi, fa'l madi, fa'l madi means past tense verb, and then fa'l mudari' And then, fa'l mudara' means basically in this level, we need to know that it's um, present tense. Because in the next levels, you will figure out something else. Not something else, something uh, over. It's not only present, but it may be something else. Okay. But in this level, you need to know that. Al-fa'l al-mudara, it's the present tense verbs. Present. And we have something, it's called fa'l amr. What does it mean, fa'l amr? It means imperative verbs. You give an order to someone. Um, now, you may ask that, okay, we know we do have an, an English fa'l madi, past, past tenses, and we do have present. And yes, we can do imperative verbs. But where is the future? Pure future. We say that the past tenses in Arabic, it's clear something happened in the past. And al mudara present, it's clear something happens now. And then we say that fa'l amr, you give an order to someone to do something, and this something did not happen yet so it's future 
So we consider this as a future. However, is there any fi'l, verb, future verb, without having this characteristic, which is being imperative, being uh, a command or an instructions? Yes, we do. But we're not going to learn this uh, now. We're going to start to learn about al-fa'l al-madi. This is for lesson five. Thanks for watching.